Good morning, FlossTube. It is Wednesday, October 4th, um, at least where I am. It might still be the third where the majority of you are. Um, but I wanted to jump into the world of FlossTube. So here I am. Um, I've decided to take the leap and we're gonna see how it goes. Um, my name is Lynette. I am in my mid forties. I'm originally from Massachusetts. Um, I am a New England girl through and through. Um, I miss it. Can't wait to get back. I married a man from Nebraska um, who is an engineer and his career has taken us many places and um, we currently live in Guam. So it's hot and it's humid and there's no sign of fall and I miss colored leaves and I miss apples and I miss pumpkins, but we have a year left here and and I'm, I can't wait to get back, but I'm trying to make the best of it while I'm here. I have two beautiful daughters. My youngest just turned 12 last month. My oldest will be 14 this month. They are both stitching, so hopefully in future videos they will give me permission to show you what they've been working on. Um, I started stitching when I was roughly my youngest age. I think I was in sixth grade, um, and all of my friends at school got to go to the Boys and Girls Club after school because their parents worked. And I did not appreciate having a stay-at-home mom because I wanted to go to the Boys and Girls Club too. So finally my mother agreed that she would pick me up once or twice a week or whatever it was. And I signed up for a cross-stitch class. Um, and as it turns out, I was the only person who wanted to learn how to cross-stitch. So I had um, a one-on-one -on -one experience with the lovely lady who taught me how to stitch. I wish I could name her and thank her. Um, I have tried to find her, but there aren't any records at the Boys and Girls Club going back that far. So there is an anonymous lady somewhere out in the world who, um, who gave me a, an amazing gift. And so I want to thank her for that. And I want to encourage you to teach someone who would like to learn. So I made a little Christmas ornament, which I am sure is still in a box somewhere in my parents' basement. Um, someday I hope to unearth it, and um, I know I'll recognize it when I see it. Um, I stitched off and on all throughout junior high and high school working on little projects. And then when I got to college, it was my junior year. I met my best friend Stacy, who was also a stitcher, and we would spend hours stitching, and we worked on big projects. I have several um, at my parents' house um, that are complete fills. Um, we used to go to um, Colonial Crafts in Sturbridge, Massachusetts, if anyone remembers Colonial Crafts. Um, and we'd pull up a chair and just sit for hours looking through all of the endless pamphlets that she had um, hanging on the wall for purchase. They were not sorted by subject or designer or anything. They were just like randomly thrown in into um, hangers on the wall. And we would just sit in the chairs and spend hours leafing through those um, and always found something to do. So um, that was a big sanity saver during those stressful years of college and while I was doing my student teaching. Um, and I graduated um, and eventually did become a teacher and um, stitched all throughout those years. Um, met my husband, got married, still stitched. And then the children came. <laughs> And I, I couldn't, I, I, I was stressed, um, which is probably the reason I should have kept stitching, but I needed quiet. Um, and I, 
I just put my stitching down and I didn't pick it up for years. Um, it was about 2008, I think, when I um, picked up my stitching again and slowly got back into things. Um, I love samplers. I'm a big sampler stitcher. So the first project that I picked up in 2008 was a sampler. Um, I will show you that sometime because I believe I have it with me. Um, and then in, it was the spring of 2012. I had um, recently moved to Virginia and I met an amazing lady named Donna Ray. Hi, sweetie. Um, and Donna Ray introduced me at some point. I'm not sure if it was right when I met her in 2012 or if it was shortly after that. Um, but she introduced me to the Prim Stitcher Society um, page on Facebook. And I instantly got my stitching mojo back after that. Um, I went to my LNS, which happened to be dying to stitch, right? How blessed was I? Um, and found lots of projects and um, picked it up again. And I've taken small breaks here and there. Um, Vana in her last two videos mentioned that cross stitch was her one thing. She wanted to be a master of that um, rather than um, a master of none, which that's me. Um, I paper craft. Um, I do more. I like to make my own cards. Um, I haven't scrapbooked in a long time, but I do enjoy that. Um, I have become very close to my sewing machine while here in Guam. That was a, a goal I set for myself when we moved here. I wanted to take the time to learn how to sew. Um, I've had my machine since I was in college and very rarely used it for anything but straight lines. So I've been sewing while here. Um, I also enjoy crocheting, so I will do mostly little projects, um, but also um, baby blankets that I donate. Um, and so I, I will take short breaks from stitching to do other things. Um, I am recently coming off of a, actually a rather long st stitching break. It, it's been probably nine or ten months. Um, and again, Donna Ray introduced me to Floss Tube, and I started watching, and again, instantly my mojo came back. So I, um, I had two projects. I've had two whips um, that... I don't know, I, they just weren't calling to me right now. So um, I got a digital subscription to just cross stitch because I wanted to work on some Christmas ornaments. And so that's what I've been doing and I will show you those a little later on. Um, I, like I said, I've recently found Floss Tube um, and I wanna do some shout outs because these these stitchers are amazing and they're very inspirational um, and they've encouraged me to, to kind of get back in it and branch out in my stitching. Um, so the first person, the first um, Floss 2 video that I, I ever watched was Vanna and I binged watched her completely. Um, I was just enamored with her and I know that if we were neighbors we would be best of friends because we have a lot in common. Um, Chelsea and Priscilla, um, you have really encouraged me to finish up some of the projects that I have finished stitching but not completed framing. Um, as I mentioned, I am from New England um, and I'm also very much into genealogy and I have a very German background. Um, more Sweden than German, but um, that background and the way I was raised makes me very frugal. And so I would rather spend money on linen and patterns than I would framing. So up until now, 
I have gone to great lengths to ensure that anything that I stitched and that I knew I would be framing would fit into a 5x7 or an 8x10 or an 11x13 or 16x20. Um, if it didn't fit a standard frame, then either I would adjust the pattern somehow to make it fit, I would adjust the size of linen that I was stitching on to make it fit, or I wouldn't stitch it. Um, but Chelsea and Priscilla have encouraged me um, and shown that there are lots of different ways to finish items um, without necessarily framing them. So I want to thank you for that. Um, Buckeye Stitcher is another, another um, floss tuber who I binged watch. Um, she also encouraged me to get started on floss tube because she mentioned how she enjoyed seeing stitchers in other parts of the world. And I thought to myself, hmm, anybody else? Floss tube it on Guam? May as well be me. So one of these days, um, I hope to do a video out on my back deck. Um, I have a beautiful view of um, the ocean. Um, and if there's a ship in port, sometimes we get to see ships um, and lots and lots of palm trees. So um, I'm hoping that I can do that at some point. The neighbor dogs are a bit obnoxious and they like to bark. So we'll have to see how that works. Um, D squared, you, you ladies are amazing. Um, you remind me of my best friend and I, um, and I hope that, that we are as vivacious and joyful as you two are um, in the future. Who else? Mischievous Stitches, another one that I binged watched and inspired me greatly. Um, and Julie in Nebraska at Reflections, um, I just told my husband, like I said, he's from Nebraska. We haven't been back there since 2011, maybe. Um, so I just told him that when we got back to the States, um, I wanted to leave the kids with my parents because they'll be back in school, but I really want to get out to Grand Island to the Nebraska State Fair because my in-laws live about 20 minutes north of Grand Island, um, and so I, I want to go to the State Fair. The problem is that it's in September when our kids are in school, and so we're not going to be able to go as a family, which um, my husband said, I don't know if we're allowed to, to show up at their doorstep without the children in tow, but I'm sure they won't mind. Um, and also all of your, all of these ladies, I think, have talked about entering um, into the fair and that made a light bulb go off in my head because I will be home in the fall to enter items into my hometown fair. Um, it's not a county fair, it's not a state fair, um, but it's a pretty big one. And I used to enter items all the time when I lived in the area and got lots of blue ribbons. I, I don't, I never got anything like a best of show or best in class. And there's, there's only like three different cross stitch classes. It's, it's not, it's not a big showing at all. Um, but I totally agree with, with the, um, idea that we need to put our pieces in the public eye so that people can see that this is not a lost art, it's not a dying art, um, and they can can see how amazing the projects are. Um, so I immediately um, ordered some projects to work on for next fall, and hopefully in my next video they will they will be here. Um, as you can imagine, we have no LNS on Guam. Um, there's a fabric shop. There's actually two fabric shops. One is more just fabric, and the other is um, quilting with better quality fabrics. Um, and then there's a there's a craft store up at the Air Force Base that I never get up to. I do know they sell um, DMC, but um, I once asked them about framing because th there's a frame shop there um, 
and they, I, I asked them how they handled needlework and, oh, we just glue it down and it looks beautiful. <laughs> um, so I decided they, they would not be getting my stitching to frame because I know that stitching should be stretched if you're going to frame it. Um, so anyway, as you can imagine, all of that to say, there is no LNS. If I want something, it, it has to come from online. Um, I did go on a little binge at Dying to Stitch before we moved here. So I came well prepared with um, more than three years worth of projects. Um, also, I've been stitching since 1986, 1985-ish. So I have a lot of DMC. Uh, my grandfather's grandmother was a stitcher, and so I got a lot of her floss when she stopped stitching. Um, and my neighbor in Virginia had a ton of DMC. I, I don't need, Jen, I don't know where it came from, <laughs> but it was a ton of it. Um, and so I have a lot of DMC. Um, which is the reason I haven't made the move over to a lot of the specialty hand dyed threads. Um, again, I'm cheap. And so I have the DMC and that's what I'm going to use. Um, I have dyed DMC, um, some of the brighter colors that I didn't like, um, and I've used them for punch needle. Um, I have not dyed threads to use for cross stitch yet, but who knows? I might. Um... Okay, I think I think that's a good background. Um, I'm I'm hoping that um, some of my friends who stitch will watch these videos while they are stitching, and and we can have a virtual stitchathon. Um, so I want to give a, a big shout out again to my best friend in Massachusetts, Stacy, um, Donna Ray, and Virginia Beach. Um, my dear sweet Betsy in Illinois, who was my mentor mom when I was in MOPS. Um, MOPS, was, MOPS was my sanity saver during that time in my life. And um, Betsy is also a fellow stitcher. And um, when we moved from there, she gave me a sweet little um, pillow with a friendship verse. I'll have to show that to you sometime. Um, but that's on my nightstand. So I think of Betsy every day. Um, and again, lots of lots of stitching friends where wherever we've lived. So that's been a blessing. And I I hope that um, these floss tube videos will be an equal blessing to somebody else. Um, I like to watch floss tube not only while I'm stitching but while I'm doing the dishes. We do not have a dishwasher in this house. Um, so it's a beautiful kitchen. It's a gourmet kitchen. I have a triple sink. I have a huge professional stove, um, but there's no dishwasher. So I'm at the sink at least three, sometimes four times a day. Um, I do like to cook. I like to bake. I try to um, make things from scratch as, as much as I can. So we generate a lot of dishes. And so um, Floss Tube came in a great time in my life because I had absolutely exhausted Netflix. <laughs> and all of the gardener YouTubers that I like to follow have kind of um, slowed down for the, the fall and, and winter. So Floss Tube has come in a great time for me. So um, I feel like I'm, I'm visiting with fellow stitchers when I'm doing dishes. Um, okay, background done. I'm going to show you a couple of pieces that I stitched years ago, um, what I'm working on now, um, and some items from my stash. I don't have a lot of pieces from my past with me. Um, some of them are hanging at my parents' house, um, but I did put a lot of them in storage because I didn't want them traveling on a ship for weeks and weeks and weeks to get here um, and to get broken. So there are several pieces that um, 
came by accident. I didn't mean to bring them, but um, in hindsight, I'm glad I did. Um, so I'll show you a couple of those this time around and then in future videos, hopefully I can sneak them in. But um, I, then I will show you some that I've made while we've been here and what I'm working on. So this first one I'm going to show you, I don't, I, it was stitched on Ada, that I can tell. Um, I don't know the name of the pattern. I don't know the company who did the pattern. I, I know nothing other than the fact that um, I stitched it in 99 because I'm, I'm pretty good about um, signing all of my work. So um, I know that I stitched it in 99. Um, this piece has, um, it sits at the top of this hutch. Um, in every house that we've lived in since um, 1999, before I even got married. Um, so this piece is um, also special to me because I changed a lot of the verse. I will read it to you. There's a lot of um, backstitch writing. Um, I'll read it to you. Um, but I I personalized it a lot. And so everything mentioned in the verse means something to me um, and is a, a piece of my past. Um, so this is a special one. I, it's falling apart. So I took the, I took the um, glass out, so hopefully there's no glare. But this is it. It's a nice winter farm scene. Um, and if I can... Well, I'll show you a close up. There's a lot of, um, like I said, back stitching for the words. There's, it, it was um, half stitches and and stuff for. So it wasn't a lot of cross stitching, um, but I think I remember this took me a fair amount of time. But okay, so the verse goes: pout fishing beneath the stars, swimming at camp and matchbox cars, yard sales, flea markets, and country lanes, a thunderstorm and a summer rain, walking sticks and country air, clam fritters at the Woodstock Fair, mom's home cooking and playing in snow, country music on the radio, Aunt Audrey songs begging for more, that fur hat my daddy wore. Sometimes in April or deep in December, those magical moments are sweet to remember. So that, like I said, it, it goes up there. And that was another one, even back in 1999. I remember um, purchasing the frame um, because I knew it would fit and I had the mat specially cut, um, but the frame was was pre-made. Um, this next one I know is a butternut road. Um, it is called the quilt maker. And so this, the frame for this one, it's all stretched. The frame has, um, didn't make the move. Um, it never had glass in it, but um, the frame fell apart. And so it's, it's not, um, I haven't been able to hang it, but this one took me a fair amount of time, and I stitched this one, finished this one in 02. Um, I uh, I just love this one. I'm I've done another. I, I'm it was a lavender lace or butternut road. It was one of those. It, um, it was the loving teacher makes learning a joy. Um, so this was the second one of theirs that I stitched. Um, the ironic thing is I, I wasn't sewing when I stitched this. Um, I wanted to. Um, so anyway, I'm hoping one of the girls will um, take this and appreciate this when they're older. I have a, um, a brunette and a blonde, so it could really go to either of them because... Um, there's one of each in here, so I, I don't know, depending upon whether she wants to be the adult or the child, I guess. Um, so I love this one. And I have a couple um, finishes that I'm going to show you that I've stitched since we've lived here. Um, one of them I stitched um, 
2015, and I'll show it to you right now. First, I'll, I'll show you the, um, the cover. Lydia C. Eichelberger from Carriage House Samplings. Um, I was in the market for something with a peacock on it um, because, as you will see, um, peacock is um, part of our address. Um, so I wanted to stitch something to um, mark our time here in Guam. So I found this, um, and what I did was, instead of the Lydia Eichelberger, I um, put our address in there. And so I've covered that over because the internet doesn't need to know where we live. Um, but this is what it looks like. And again, this was another um, pre-made frame that I had in my stash for something. I don't know what. Um, it's, it's not stretched. It's not really mounted permanently. I just shoved it in here so I could display it. Um, so if you look close, you might see some wrinkles. Um, but the 2015 to the 2018, um, those are the three years that we're living here. So um, I loved how this turned out. I love the colors. Um, and I love the fact that I didn't even have to paint the frame because it matched. So I don't know. I'm really bad, y'all, about um, recording what kind of linen I used. I'm trying to get better about that. So it's on some kind of linen. And probably called for colors, um, but I don't know. I, th I think so. I, I do change colors um, quite often. I have started to indicate that on the charts um, so that I know that I change them. So that was um, one of the projects. The next one I'm going to show you um, was a really recent finish. Like I mentioned earlier, I um, bit the bullet and I got a digital subscription to Just Cross Stitch. Um, I I could get the actual Christmas ornament magazine here. Um, I think it's the only cross stitch magazine available on island and I was surprised to find it. Um, but it was just cheaper for me in the long run to get the digital subscription because they gave me access to, I think it was two or three years worth of back issues, including the, the um, Christmas ornament editions from 2016 and 2015 and maybe 2014, I don't remember. So anyway, um, I printed out the ones that I really liked and I found, um, I found this guy from last year's um, edition and I knew I had some blue fabric. So I decided he was gonna be the first Christmas ornament that I made this year. And so I was looking through my stash and I actually found two pieces of blue fabric. I found um, a light blue piece of Ada, um, which I, I don't, I don't not like Ada. I just like linen better. Um, but I used to stitch only on Ada. And so I have a lot of it in my stash. And then my best friend gave me some because she knew my girls were starting to stitch and they will only stitch on Ada. Um, so I had a light blue piece of Ada, and then I had a darker blue um, piece of linen that Donna Ray had sent me in a uh, care package a while ago. Um, and all I know is that it, it said it was limited edition. It came from Dying to Stitch. Um, so I actually stitched this guy twice. Um, the first one is on the, the light DMC. And they're supposed to be buttons in the, instead of the O's. Um, I don't have any buttons that are that small. So I think I'm going to use um, some other sort of embellishment. I'll show you in the next one. This blue, I think, was too light. Um, I definitely liked the darker blue better, which is right here. And again, not mounted permanently at all. But you can see these little, um, I don't even know what they are. They're sparkle, sparkle somethings that I found in my scrapbook stash. So I think when I get it permanently mounted and made into an ornament, then those are going to be all around um, for the O's because it just adds a little bling. Um, 
so again, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta make myself finish them. Um, so hopefully before Christmas. I am working on another um, Christmas ornament. My work in in progress. I don't know if you can see this. This is again from the 2016 um, Just Cross Stitch um, magazine. Um, it's hard to see, but it's a it's just plain stocking um, with some greenery, and I really like the look of that. And so I have. Um, I have started stitching this one. So, um, kind of a lazy stitcher. So I outlined first so I wouldn't have to count. Um, and I cut it a little close on the size of the fabric, but it'll be fine. It's just going to be an ornament. So that's my um, work in progress. Um, a couple pieces I will show you from my stash that I'm hoping to work on. Um, Hearts and Flowers by Carriage House. Um, I know a lot of you have commented there's another sampler that has the same verse on it. Um, when in love I do commence, may it be with a man of sense. So um, I'm hoping to get this made up for um, one or both of my daughters. <laughs> um, one has more of an old-fashioned she's an old soul so um, I think she would appreciate it more than the other who is only about horses and dragons um, and this one I fell in love with this this was a piece for the colonial gathering um, and I knew when it came out um, I didn't want to join the club because again a I'm cheap and I I want to know that I love a chart before I pay for it but um, I found it for sale on one of the Facebook sites and I was overjoyed um, and so it is now in my stash and um, I didn't know how I was gonna finish it because I didn't want a pillow you can I don't know I can only use so many pillows and honestly my husband has um, he has jokingly declared a moratorium on baskets and pictures and picture frames. Um, so anyway, I didn't want to do a pillow and it was an odd size to frame and I didn't know how I was going to make it fit a normal size frame. But then I started watching Chelsea and Priscilla and now I know that I don't have to frame it and I don't have to make it a pillow. I can hang it a different way. So I think that's what's going to happen with this one. Okay, 33 minutes already. Um, I want to show you my, my other whips. Um, I am normally a one project at a time stitcher. I'm a one book at a time reader. Um, it's incentive for me to finish so that I can start something new. So um, this project I found at Dying to Stitch when we lived in Virginia, and I fell in love with it. And I knew immediately I wanted to stitch it. And I knew also immediately that um, it was not going to be the Nantucket girl song. It was going to be the Navy wife song. Um, but I love everything about this one. So um, again, I found a frame and I had to tweak my stitching to make it fit the frame. Um, so I'm changing up some of it. Um, and come to find out, of course, everybody knows this, but I, I didn't remember it in time. Um, linen is not even weave. Um, so I did all the math and, and it came out perfectly and, and I stitched it the way it was supposed to and it still doesn't fit the frame exactly correctly. Um, so it's probably going to stay that way, but I don't know, I might adjust it down the line. But let me show you what I've done on that one. It's almost, it's, I got a good portion of it done. But um, I, I know I was working on this in 2015 um, because my husband came to Guam first. And so I was left in Virginia to sell the house and um, take care of the move in the whole nine yards. And so I remember stitching on this while the movers were packing our stuff. Um, I think I might've started it before then um, 
but definitely May of 2015, I was actually working on it. And I tried to work on it um, mostly when my husband was away, just to give me something to do. And so, yeah, we're, we're getting there. I have a few more um, motives, and I think the wording's done. Um, and it's all of my changes are charted out. I have a very old um, cross-stitch program that I... I um, can make changes pretty easily and chart stuff out and print it out on my computer. So I really want to get this one finished because I may not be a Navy wife for that much longer. We're getting old. He can retire pretty soon. Um, my second whip is um, Stacy Nash Primitive, Smith Baxter's house. Um, what I haven't told you about myself is that I'm a beekeeper. Um, I was a master gardener when we lived in Virginia, um, and we had chickens when we lived in Virginia. Um, I'm a homesteader at heart. I love growing things. I love preserving food. Um, I, I just love being a producer rather than a consumer. So I saw this um, pattern, and it had chickens and bees. Um, so I knew I had to I had to do it. So I started this one maybe a year or so ago, but like I said, I've, I stopped stitching for a while um, and I haven't picked it up yet. So this is this needs to be finished because I love it. Um, so this is what I have so far. And again, this was another one. Um, I had no intentions of stitching the outer border here because um, it made it a wonky size. But with just the inner border, it would fit um, a regular size frame, 10 by 13 or something. Um, so I think that's how I'm going with it. But that is Miss Baxter's house. So maybe, I don't know, maybe next time you see me, there'll be some progress on that, or maybe I'll just have finished a bunch more Christmas ornaments. I don't know. Um, there are a lot that I want to do from the Just Cross Stitch um, magazines. So that's my plans. Um, yeah, I think that's it for now. Um, thanks for checking out my channel. I um, hope you've been inspired to do some stitching. And uh, I will see you, I don't know, two weeks, a month? I, I don't know. I'll let you know. Subscribe, like, comment. Thank you so much for your support. Um,